Hey guys. Well, I was trying to do something and uh, didn't quite work. Uh, my paint, I think, was a little too thin. I had some interesting design here, but um, all in all, I'm not really happy with it. Uh, I tried to pour over it twice, so um, anyway, it's not working. And I'm pretty much out of purple and blue. I am just, I think, maybe I'll do a little Dutch pour over this with some other colors I have, which are copper and turquoise, uh, magenta, and this is titanium white. Uh, with uh, it's Artist Loft and Amsterdam, and a few drops of Penetrol, which should give it cells, but uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, there's a little bit of gold, very little left. I'm just, uh, you know, <laughs> getting some leftover paints here. Because this did not go the way I wanted it. So, since I've got all this purple and blue already on here, I think we'll just go with what's left of this blue. Uh, let's see. I, think, I guess it'd be nice to have a little chaos, chaos Dutch pour. Just trying to figure out how I want this to go. Maybe something here and here, that's what we'll do. That is the plan of attack. Copper. Um, actually, I'm going to do this. Ooh, a lot of white came out. Too much white. And the copper. Some gold. And the magenta.
I'm getting a little cells coming up here from the uh, my white concoction. And then a little bit of background. Coming through here, which I kind of like too. It is more of a little chaos Dutch pour. I'm just going to do a little bit of tweaking here and there. Let's see. Which way do I want the tweaks to go? Just getting little bits to go with the flow that's already there, if possible. I'm really liking that, uh, the back of the failed background coming through, actually. Just looks very cool. Should have a little more dark coming through here. A wee bit of purple left. Let's see if we can't add to that. Looks pretty good. <laughs> well, never say never, you guys. Never give up. Because this thing was horrible. I tried twice before and it just wasn't doing what I wanted. Uh, this isn't spectacular, I don't think. But it's... Um, I like it. It's interesting. I like the colors. Okay, I think the cells add to it too. All right, um, fail after fail, and just keep pouring till you find something you like. Uh, I like this. Like I said, not what I had in mind, but that's often the way it goes with fluid art. So, there is. Thanks so much for joining me. I will bring you down in a moment for the wet results. I might tweak it a little more before then. See you in a second. Uh, the wet results. Look at that mess <laughs> in the back. Anyway, I don't mind this. A little chaos Dutch pour with some pretty colors in it. A few little cells and some glimmer from that copper and gold. Mm, I like the little cells. Not big boulders or anything, but actually very, very nice. And I like the are little bits of the background from the failed pour behind it. I think that adds uh, uh, some interest to it she normally wouldn't see. So there it is. Let me know what you think. Um, like I said, uh, there's a lot of fails. I know a lot of people don't show their fails. I don't show you all of mine, but the ones that I can do something with, uh, I learn from, and I hope anyone watching this can learn from it too, is just to keep going, try different techniques, um, 
and you usually come up with something you like, um, a new technique sometimes. So thank you for joining me and going through this process with me. I appreciate it and I will show you the dry results in a minute. Here are the dry results. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, the colors are very bright and pretty. Came out nice. I'll take it down to show you a little bit. That bright magenta really kind of adds pop to the whole piece. I don't know if you can see the, the gold and copper shimmer. It shows up in there. Right. It's a great little pour for uh, just using some leftovers. So there you have it. Thanks for joining me. I will see you next time. You take care and be well. Bye-bye.